What brought me to the Audi S3 is I was limited on how much money I can spend, like, you know, we all are, and I was trying to find something that had a turbo, and I was trying to get into something that was similar to a Golf R, but they were a little bit out of my price range with kind of how hyped up they are, so I ended up finding out that you can get basically the same drivetrain in an S3, and this thing was down the street from me. I really liked the color and went and picked it up. Hey, my name's Connor. This is my 2016 Audi S3. So when I was probably 12 or 13, my dad brought home a 1965 F100 and uh, helped him redo that a little bit. He did all new paint on it, redid the interior, and uh, that was the car that I learned to drive stick on. Then kind of from there, me and him always went to car shows when I was younger. And uh, when I was in high school, I ended up picking up a 97 Honda Accord Coupe and uh, did some pretty terrible modifications to it. And then got a couple more Hondas after that. And uh, yeah, it's kind of what brought me to the Audi. We have the RS grill. When I got the car, the only thing that was done to it is it actually had a replica RS bumper conversion. Technically it's a Euro spec conversion because this is a pre-facelift Audi. So they never had the RS3 pre-facelift in America. It didn't come here till 17, but it had one of those really cheap grills with no badge on the front. So I changed out the grill so it would match the bumper. Roll defenders, it's on BBS RS2s now. The roof box I bought from Audi. I really like that. That was like one of the first things I did. And then I got that color matched. The rear is basically just debadged. I really like the way these cars look with no Audi badge on the back. Yeah, it's pretty simple. It's just on bags. Try to keep it pretty clean on the outside. I don't, I don't really want to do anything else to it. I guess the only other thing is the uh, chrome tints just because I like them. We got the APR open carbon fiber intake and then we have the carbon fiber turbo inlet APR turbo elbow, the carbon fiber battery cover. This is a CJM Industries engine cover. Got rid of the OEM one. And then basically you got the downpipe from IE. All this stuff is from ECS tuning. It's got a stage two tune from EQT tuning and then it's also got a stage two DSG tune from EQT. So the, the first thing we did in the interior is got the carbon fiber wheel. I recently just spent a bunch of time swapping in these S7 seats, front and rear. They're not perfect yet. I don't have all the motors working, but I did get them fit in the car. So a little bit more time and we'll get that all sorted out. And I uh, uh, just try to keep it simple. I don't really think I'm gonna do too much else. Maybe a Black Forest Industries shift knob at some point. So the trunk setup, we got a Luxus Cars car mat for the trunk. And then we have hard lines that I did coming off the airlift management. Uh, just one compressor on the side and, you know, you get your tank. It's a pretty simple setup. I just wanted it to look clean and have some hard lines. Yeah, when I first got the car, it had mag ride on it. So I put a set of springs on the mag ride struts and it was pretty nice. It looked pretty good. Um, but obviously I just wanted it lower. So got rid of those. Ended up going with airlift slam series in the front just because the performance series was out of stock at the time. And then we did airlift performance series in the back, ran all the airlines, did like just a basic trunk setup for the time. And, uh, got the thing working. I've added 034 adjustable rear camber arms, and then the front has 034 roll centering ball joints. So the Audi's been through a couple different phases. Recently, I've tried to really bring it into a place where it's somewhat OEM plus looking. I've always really liked BBS RS2s and finally got a chance to get my hands on some. So with that and just color matching as much stuff as possible, that's just kind of the overall theme I'm going for. Um, I'd like it to look like 
It was something that Audi made in uh, just kind of a special edition car. I think when I was in high school, there was a guy that had a EK1 SI Civic. And the first time I saw it, it just kind of like, you know, took my breath away. And I uh, just kind of was hooked after that and chased the whole stance car scene and ended up finding the Euro scene. And I just really appreciate how clean all the builds are in the community. And it's just a great group of people. I would love to have this car for the rest of my life and just continue to pick up other things along the way. An F80 M3 would be the next car, hopefully. If not, you know, maybe the new Lexus GX that just came out. It would be nice to have something to drive that, you know, I don't have to worry about all the stuff you need to worry about on a show car and a car on bags and all that stuff. But who knows? We'll see. But yeah, I would like to keep the Audi for a long time. Yeah, this is pretty much just a weekend driver show car for me. I do HVAC, so they give me a work truck that I can pretty much get to and from work. And then if I have to go run errands in it, um, that's not a problem. So yeah, it doesn't really see the road at, in the winter time. And I pretty much just drive it for fun. I would like to basically just get done with the S7 seat swap. I have to still go through some wiring to get some of the motors to work and get the heat to work in the seats. And then long term, I'd like to go big turbo with the car. But yeah, if I got big turbo, I'm pretty much happy with the way the car looks. I guess I would say just take your time with your modifications. This is the third set of wheels I put on this car. This is the only set of wheels I actually really wanted on the car. Looking back, I probably should have just taken some time to just stick with the OEM wheels. And then, you know, when the set of wheels or whatever part it is comes up that you actually want, you bite the bullet and make that happen. And, you know, just don't rush things just to get it to show and have it modified.